Hello everybody, in this video I am going to go over my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $96,141.65. In the past year I am up $24,149.81. Year to date for the year 2024 I am currently up $5,766.86. Today was a green day for me. During the day, I made $784.63. After hours, I am down $199.51. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $190 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return, $96. I'm selling Disney $105 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return $30. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return $748. I'm selling Verizon $39 covered calls. These expired June 21st. My total return $80. I'm selling LUV $28 covered calls. These expired July 5th. My total return. I am down $245. I'm selling Google $180 covered calls. These expire July 19th. My total return, $249. I'm selling Robinhood, $18 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, $570. I'm selling Starbucks, $80 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, $412. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $486. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $185.87. My average cost $98.95. My total return $26,000. $79.90. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.33. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $4,240.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $101.72. My average cost, $60. My total return, $12,516. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $21.65. My average cost, $17.53. My total return, $4,125. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $28.06. My average cost, $28.03. My total return, $15. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $176.16. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $3,368. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $59.72. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, $404. I have 200 shares of Verizon. 
Verizon is at $40.26. My average cost, $39.31. My total return, $109.10. I have two hundred shares of Starbucks. Starbucks is at seventy-nine dollars and eighty-two cents. My average cost seventy-eight dollars and fifteen cents. My total return three hundred thirty-four dollars and fifty cents. This is a margin account. My margin total is one hundred fourteen thousand six hundred thirty-one dollars and seventy-two cents. My margin used is one hundred eleven thousand. $554.54, which leaves me with $3,088.18 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $42,923.61. My annual interest rate is 6.25%. The daily interest that I am paying is $19.02, and I am borrowing $1,000 interest free. So finally we have one green day. First green day that first green day I've had in a while. So I'm happy about that. Nothing's changed. Um yeah, I still have the same positions I had before. Now the thing to pay attention to is tomorrow these expire. My Amazon, Disney, PayPal, and Verizon covered calls, these expire tomorrow. So We'll see what happens. I highly doubt anything crazy is going to happen, but we'll see. If anything, um, I think I'll keep my Amazon, Disney, and PayPal shares. Verizon shares probably will get called away. At the $39 strike price, right now Verizon is at $40.35. I mean, even if I brought it... Yeah, it's it's they're going to get called away. I'm pretty sure my Verizon shares are going to be called away. And then I'll have more buying power in my portfolio after this is gone. And then we'll see what happens. And I think the one after that as well, the Southwest Airlines covered calls expiring on the 5th of uh, July. I'm pretty sure these are going away as well, but we'll see. All right. The only other notable thing is that I signed up for the Robinhood Gold credit card and I finally am off the wait list. So I already set up my account, I downloaded the app, I ordered the card to be delivered to my address. Now I do not have the physical card just yet. I only added the digital card to my digital wallet. Um, however, I've already started using it. Uh, once I added it to my digital wallet. I started going places, buying things with it, and I'm already seeing the points appear in my account. Now the points can be converted into a dollar amount. Um, you know, you can use it for cash back, you can put it towards gift cards, towards uh, your statement balance, it's a lot of different things. But yeah, I finally have it, and I think I'm going to start making videos on it as well, just showing people how many points I'm getting with my 3% cash back and uh, maybe some transactions that I've spent money on recently with my credit card. It could be a fun idea. We'll see. Um, but for now, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. I'll be making more updates like this in the future. So if you guys would like to see more like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.